Hello everyone. Uh, in this uh, Angular tutorial, I'll uh, show you guys how to create a HTML table with draggable rows. So what I have here is just a table with three columns. You can have as many as you want. And then I can drag the rows around. And when I drop it, it will go to that uh, place. So let's say I take the one, put it back in its place, take two, bring it here. And they will all sort each other nicely. I can just bring it down here, bring three up, and you get uh, this preview. So as you can see, the preview has the dotted lines around it. It's got a shadow, and then I'm using the name of the column as my drag preview. So that'll be it. So now let's jump into it. Okay, so what I have here is just a pretty blank Stack Blitz project. Uh, an Angular project uh, and I haven't done anything I haven't changed anything so I guess the first thing I'll do is I'll come over here and create a new component and I think I have to click here so I'll say new angular generator and we'll say component and we're just gonna call it uh, table like so so we got our table now let's render this so to make sure it works I'm just gonna go into my app component I'll just get rid of, I guess, everything. And now I'll just put a heading saying Angular uh, table with draggable rows, H3. So that's that. And now we're going to stick in the our table component. So it's called app-table. So I'm going to come here and I'll say app table, whoa, app table. So let's see. Okay, so that works. So we're getting our table. Now, before we uh, go any further, let's install a couple of things. Uh, number one will be bootstrap CSS only. And this is just to style the um, table. So bootstrap dash CSS dash only. So that's one. And we'll just give it a second. All right, so with that done, the next thing we need to install is um, Angular Material. So we will do Angular Material. Let's install that. It needs the CDK, of course, so we're going to install that as well. All right, beautiful. So with those dependencies done, I think we then need to go ahead and uh, test out, uh, see if the bootstrap is actually installed. So what I'll do is I'll take everything out and I'll just create a simple table. Okay, so I, I just sped that video up because I didn't want I don't want you to just see me typing here, sit and type. Uh, we're just gonna go take a look, and there's a problem. Sometimes we get these issues, so I can go ahead and refresh it. All right, so we got our table now. So now to give it some. Uh, uh, bootstrap stuff. We're just gonna add in some classes from Bootstrap. So we'll just say, this is just beautify it. Okay, so as you can see, the Bootstrap is not uh, actually taking effect, and uh, what that means is we just need to come in here and go into our Angular, go into our Angular .json file. And then you're gonna come right here where you have styles and we're just gonna go ahead and edit. Beautiful. So as you can see, the bootstrap, everything is added. So we're just gonna go ahead and open our table and table because this is where we'll be playing most of the time. So now as you can see the table I have here is kind of hard coded so we're gonna get rid of that and see if uh, we'll be assuming that the data is coming from a server 
so we will just create an array of course you can have this uh, you know coming from a server and load it in the constructor or whatever you have so let's give it an ID of one a name of whatever name we have here angular angular and then we'll give it a price so I'll just type this in and we'll speed uh, go through this pretty quick And so here, you can, as you can see, I'm using just a ng4 to rip through the uh, data source. And then uh, it will dynamically create the table rows. So I think we just have to refresh. And beautiful. And as also you can see here in my data, uh, it's all lowercase. And uh, typically, you want to do that on your server. You just want to store everything either lowercase or uppercase. And then here, as you can see, I'm just using this pipe operator to, you know, um, uh, make the first character title case, I guess. So with that all done, so now our table is actually looking in a good shape. Now we can start adding the, um, or start sprinkling the stuff that will be responsible for dragging and dropping. So we've already installed the... Um, the angular material so what you want to do is come over here in your uh, module the app module for me and then we're gonna add the drag drop module that's what it's called and now it's complaining about this so we, of course we need to import it so we'll say drag drop module and this resides in angular I think it's CDK and I think it's drag drop if I'm not mistaken yeah so you want to just import whatever you need because angular material is pretty huge so that way when you create your final build it's going to be nice and small okay so with that all nice and dandy I'm just going to come over here and now start adding the stuff we need for um, I guess the drag and drop so the first thing you want to do is come over here to the table body and you want to tell it that that's a drag drop list. So we'll say drag drop list like that. And uh, the other thing then you want to do is come over here. It's going to move this to next line and start uh, telling it, you know, um, like this is actually will be dragged. This, this row will be dragged. So CDK drag, you want to add that directive. And we want to lock this into a particular axis. We don't want the user to just move this around. So for a table, it makes more sense to just lock it in the Y axis. And uh, what we can do is we can say CDK drag lock axis. That's equals Y. Now, if you were to have a, let's say, um, another list where sometimes you have where you want people to add items or remove items let's say maybe a shopping cart in that case you can maybe just uh, lock it to the X axis so you can only go from left to right or right to left something like that so um, what that is done now we need to define a drag handle in typical scenario or in a real-world application you might have another column with some kind of an icon like a grip icon so the users know that you know this can be uh, draggable so but in this case I'll just use the first column just to show you as my uh, drag handle so all you will do in whichever column you want you just add the drag handle on that and, uh, and I'm just gonna save it so let's see if this actually works there you go so you, you can already see that just by this little work I'm able to you know drag my rows and I'm going left and right but I uh, see this thing is not moving because I've locked myself so yeah that's pretty cool now so the other thing is as I let go it's gonna snap back to where it came from so let's say I take number two and I bring it here it's gonna snap back so now we need an event uh, that it will be responsible for handling the uh, actual drag 
like when you drop it somewhere, it should actually go inside the array and move things around. So to do that, what you do is you come over here on your uh, parent, I guess, table body, and uh, you're gonna do a um, add this event. It's called CDK drop list dropped. All right, and we're gonna define an event. Let's call it drop. We're gonna pass this event, and uh, with that done, we're gonna come back here, and we'll define this. We'll say drop event. Oh, you don't need that here. Okay, so you have that now. To this event, will have stuff like you know what was the previous index, what was was the current index, or was the target index. So just to show you, I can maybe log that for you. So let's do the ticks. And we will say event dot, no, I won't give it to me, okay. So we will say previous index and to event dot current index. All right, so I'm just gonna go into my console and let's see if this actually works. So I'm gonna start from this index and I wanna drop it on the last one. So when I drop it, so you see it says that the previous index was zero and then the current index is two. So since I already started from zero, so zero, one, two. So now if I start from here and I wanna drop it here, so it'll be one, two. And we're gonna go back now. So let's say I wanna take this, bring it up, so it'll be two, zero. So you get the idea. Now, to move these around, uh, you will need to write a say for loop and the way you're gonna do this is say, if I drop this here, right? So you will need to write a loop that will go through the array and that's gonna adjust the index of each and every element. Now that's a lot of work. So I guess Angular Material has made it easy for us. And there's a function called move items in array, I think that's what it's called. So you just come here, you give it your source, so data source, and you tell it where it came from, uh, previous index and where you wanna go. Uh, current index, uh, and of course we have to say this dot data source. So if everything went well, uh, now, if I move this item here, these two should swap. There you go. So, as you can see, um, it, it'll properly adjust everything. If I bring three here, then goes back. If I bring this one here, it comes here. If I take three, and as you can see, it's nicely done. Okay, so now the other thing we can do just to make it a little bit better uh, you can start adding a class uh, which is called um, CDK Drag Preview. And uh, I'm not going to type it uh, because it's just CSS. So I'll just copy it and paste it here. So what this is going to do is it's going to create like a preview of the item being moved. As you can see, you get this box, you get this uh, shadow and everything. Now this looks ugly. So we, what we might want to do is create a proper preview of just the main item of the highlight item. So to do that, uh, you just come in here in wherever your data is, and we're just gonna create a preview. And you just define a div, and you add this directive, it's called CDK drag preview. And we'll just say match the size on one to one. And let's give it a, well, let's just leave it at that. All right. And then what I want to do here is I'll say data dot name, title case, title case, yeah. Let's save this. So I don't know why I have to keep refreshing this. Okay, so with that all squared away, and now when I drag, there you go. You're getting a nice, um, you know, preview of the item. So the other thing I want to do is maybe I can add a class of container. That's a bootstrap class. So let's see, there you go. So now it's nicely 
Uh, it's filling up the entire space now. So that's pretty cool. I can take the React and I bring it up. I can bring it down. Take Angular and there you go. That's how um, that's how you can create, um, you know, um, I guess draggable rows. And so for now, uh, I guess that'll be it. And enjoy.